This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hey, how you doing? This is Richard Daigle from Irrigator Technical Training School and we're in Escondido. I'm here with Michael, one of our students, and we had had this uh, clay valve. You can see the model right here. It's a very unusual clay valve, and uh, uh, man, I really put some um, uh, penetrating fluid to get all the bolts and everything, but it had been sitting on a shelf of a distributor for about eight to nine years. Somebody special ordered it. He says, no one's ever picked it up. And the distributor said, you know what, give me a hundred bucks cash, buy everybody lunch, and I'm good. So we got this one and a couple other ones that are very unusual. It's got a little arm lifting. Why don't you hand me that? And this is on it. And what it does is that the valve comes in sideways. And then this has a long threaded rod that goes in the ground. It has a float on it. And as that float, like on a lake, changes, this moves one way or another and opens the valve. So there's no electricity to this valve. It's hydraulically just moves the arm back and forth. So this is a big long rod, goes up and down on this clay valve. Now I can take this off and make it a standard clay valve if I want. And clay valve makes, you know, this is just a baby. It's a little two inch. I mean, they make, you know, uh, 12, 15, 18 inch, 21 inch. I mean, huge valves. And I went to clay valve school in 76 and graduated. So, I mean, it's been a long time that I've been doing this, and Michael does just an awesome job taking things apart. So, he's going to put it together. It always has the label right here. It shows an in and an out. It has a serial number on all the clay valves. They track every valve that they make out in the field. They use them heavily. They're made in the United States, right in uh, Costa Mesa, and the government uses them on battleships moving any kind of fluid. So it's not just irrigation, it moves fluid for lakes, water departments, huge valves, and it's awesome to work on. It's a great revenue stream for irrigation companies because you know you can call any service company, Clay Valve, and say, what do you charge for that? And they're all between $150 and $250, depending on the valve. And that's really nice. You can gear up a truck, go out, change it. Everybody likes the diaphragms to be switched every year and change and make sure that all the regulators on are working. You're kind of a specialist, like using a big backflow. So, I mean, it's, it's really good to use those. They got an awesome diaphragm here. The stem is stainless steel on it. It's got a great diaphragm here. They always date code everything on it. I mean, they do a great job. Inside here, you can see it's a stainless seat on it, so it's not going to wear down. We uh, put penetrating fluid, cleaned it, and lightly uh, brushed all the inside right here. Got it somewhat clean. I'm going to be doing another master valve class this Saturday, so I'll really get them to do some more stuff. But I thought, man, I would grab this moment with Michael here and see if we can do it. He's uh, a new student to the irrigation industry and he's out here uh, getting trained so then he can get a job at uh, a future landscaper that's coming out. So I'm going to have Michael go ahead and hand put this together all back together right now and you'll be able to see all the little tubes on it and everything on it and uh, um, go ahead. <laughs> So I just wanted to thank Michael for helping us take this apart, put it back together. He did an excellent job on it. As you can see, everything's well lubricated. It went on real slick. He, you know, hand 
did everything really good. He's real good at putting these things together. As you can see, the, this on the valve, so the valve would be laying sideways like this, and then the threaded post would be in the water. It could be length, I mean, I've seen them um, in Sacramento down in the, those water areas where it was like six foot long and then hit the water and the float would come up. And when this float changed like this, it would and put out some water for a little bit just to get it like a pool. But it's basically for a big uh, lake or stream or moving water from tank to tank. So it's pretty exciting, pretty neat. I think that irrigation people should always look outside the box and be looking for projects like this and even opening divisions on uh, different and exciting valves and different things. We can all do it in the irrigation industry. You want to be able to grab those niches in the market. So we'll be doing a lot more classes on large master valves. And uh, this is a baby, and we'll see you guys soon. Make sure that you uh, subscribe to our channel and thank all of our Irrigator Tech members for letting us do these videos. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.